exist. <laughs>
and after of what have you done over here so you will see how much you have done on the image already you don't want to press it too strong because the effect is just going to be too much so you just want to like slightly press on the tablet and just starting brushing over and over again all right so so far so good and if they are like a complete beginner watching right now the first thing that I highly recommend you to do is like you want to go to the black and white layer over here and then go to the curve tool and then you want to drag this contrast point down over here and drag the highlight point up right something over here and then you just want to group them together you can holding shift and group them together and then ctrl g and then you want to a bit reduce the opacity to something like you know 75 or something like this and then you see it's going to be like a lot easier to see why are the highlight point of your image that is going on for example let me just do some circling for you you have the highlight point over here of course on her nose right here and then on top right over here and of course on the cheek area over here and this area a little bit and on her lips and of course on the chin right over here and then what you want to do again is like why is the shutter point let's change the color to the blue color so of course you have like on the edge of her face right here and then on the cheek area over here and of course at the mouse area right over here on the lips and the side of her nose over here so as a beginner I recommend to do this step first because it just going to be a lot easier for you to see where are the highlights point and the shadow point alright so now let's move on to the next step the next step over here I will go to the blank layer over here and then you want to change the blend mode to the soft light and then you want to click to this area over here and make sure the white is inactive not the black color and then you want to change the floor to just only 1% and let's rename this one to highlight and again this time we just want to do the same thing that we do in the curve too At this step over here, it just depends on the photographer or retoucher. For me, I love to go in for something that is kind of not so natural. So I use this step to just really enhance uh, the depth in her face. But if you just love in kind of natural style, you can just enough for the first step already. Alright, and then we want to create again. And change the blend mode to soft light and let's rename this one to shadow and then you want to switch the color over here to black color and let's enhance them And on this step over here, you can also do on her hair too, and even on her clothes too, to add like the depth of feel to make that you know 3D look. Now the 
let's switch this to the highlight. Okay, now let's group them and let's group this one too. And let's see before the after from each of them. This is before, oh sorry, this is before and after, and this is before and after on the second step. Alright, now so far looking good to me. Let's move on to the next step. The next one is going to be the eyes enhancement. So let's just create a new layer over here. In this eyes enhancement, we are going to use two techniques. The first one you want to create a new layer over here. And then you want to zoom in and make sure the floor is at 100% this time and just click over here and then you want to double click over here and now holding out and then slightly shift this one to the right point something like this maybe all right and let's check before and after look good to me and then you want to go to the curve tool and then enhance the highlight over here out and then you want to brush the opposite side of this part so something like this let's see before and after maybe it maybe it's a little too much let's drop it down and then I will change the floor to just one percent and I will zoom in and I will just go in to enhance all those highlights that you have in the eyes it's just going to make the eyes the area over here a little popped all right and the last step that I will do here it's going to be the makeup step you want to create the new layer over here and then change the blend mode to soft light and you want to make sure that you are going to use the red color and then of course the opacity at 100% and the floor just only 1% and you want to use the big brush over here and then just slightly brushing on her cheek on the left side too and on the nose over here on the eyes too and under her chin right here and let's check before and after look a bit too much for me let's just reduce the opacity to something like this and it's looking good for me all right and now it's going to be the bonus tab so i want to show you how to brighten the face but not that kind of crazy brighten so you want to go to the curve tool and then you want to grab this hand tool over here and make sure you are going to light the brightest part of the model first and then start leave it up something like this and then you want to go to the darker part of the face on the shadow point something like this over here and then slightly leave it down something like this and then you want to invert the layer mask and of course just brushing on her face only something like this and now let's check before and after you see in this way you are just going to enhance the highlight part of the area and of course enhance the shadow part too it just look like kind of natural for me all right so now let's see before and after of this contouring step Let's group all of them. Let's see before and after. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. This is before 